Okay, that's not good. Got to do something with that. But uh, it's an old wheelbarrow. Maybe I have a maybe I have another solution to it for this uh, issue. Stay tuned. Morning, folks. Back at the cabin this weekend. Beautiful, beautiful Saturday morning here now. And uh, I got a little project on the go this weekend. Uh, a couple of projects, actually. Spring is uh, trying to get here. We had a little uh, dust, dusting of snow earlier in the week, but it's all gone again, so that's uh, that's great. So, so yeah, it's more springtime. It's time to clean up around the yard and stuff, and uh, moving dirt, moving, cleaning up brush or whatever. And uh, I have an old wheelbarrow. I'll show you the picture I have here. Uh, this wheelbarrow is about, <laughs> it's a good 30 years old. I've had it, when, we bought it when we had our first house, which is like at least 30 years ago now, yeah, for sure. And uh, it's gone through a lot, <laughs> got holes in it. And uh, I can do some repairs on it. And I, I, I plan to put a two new stabilizers on the front of it. And, and, that, and that I'll do that later on. But as the old saying goes, as you get old, you get smarter. And uh, I got myself a new little uh, ATV cart here. Uh, picked it up at Prince's Auto, and uh, it's a dump cart. Stick on the back of the ATV, and uh, I'm gonna use it around here. Going around, do some, do my yard work, and do cat chores around here, around the cabin, picking up brush, moving soil, whatever rocks, and uh, that's the plan for the day. So I'm gonna put you on time lapse here, and uh, I'm gonna put this rig together and uh, give her a go. So folks, I got it all taken out of the box, and uh, there are instructions, so that's fine. So I'll take a few minutes here now just to review the instructions and see what goes where. There's a few parts, more parts than I was expecting, uh, but that's not a big deal. We'll get that together now. And uh, so uh, I'm gonna take a few minutes just to read the instructions here, and uh, then we'll get her done. Stay tuned, folks. Folks, I got the dump on. Nothing's tightened up here yet, just in place. Uh, that was a little, needed two hands for that, so Jeanette did give me a little hand to uh, get that started. But I got all the nut bolts in there now. Nothing's tightened up yet, but like I said, it's a, it's a, it's a start. So it's, it's like everything, you know, it's a, it's a lot of things to put together, and uh, we're making progress. So let's get her finished up. Okay, folks, uh, we come to a fork in the road. <laughs> this cart can actually be used as a wheelbarrow. Uh, I haven't got nothing tightened up here yet, like this, or put it on your track on the on the quad. Now, I plan to use it more for the quad, and if I do that, this handle is going to be in the way, basically. Uh, so I'm not going to use it for the wheelbarrow. I'm going to take that handle off again and just use the uh, put put the tongue out. Let's see, see cause the the tongue actually folds in under if you want to use it as a wheelbarrow around the yard. I'm not going to use it like that. I'm going to use it just as a cart for the ATV. And I'll get my wheelbarrow fixed up like I mentioned earlier. 
so yeah so i'm just uh i gotta take that off again now and uh, i'll bring you back when i got it all put together and hooked on the bike So folks, not too bad. I got the, uh, I decided to take, leave the handle off afterwards. Um, no need doing that. Uh, I don't need to use it as a wheelbarrow. So, the, and it interferes actually with the uh, back of the, back of the bike if I want to turn. So, not going to do that. The one thing I forgot to show you is that it actually dumps the handle. Let's go. And voila. You can dump it. So, that's a bonus. I'm ready to go back down, push it back down, box in place. So yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. Anyway, folks, we shall uh, get some use out of that around here. I gotta go some brush clean up down there. And uh, first thing I do is clean up cardboard. That much cardboard came with it. Anyway, I'm gonna burn that now with the brush up in the burn barrel. Same too, folks. Well, folks, I got the uh, got the card all put together there now, and I think it's time to get something to eat. So I'm gonna take a jaunt up in the woods, check out my uh, game cameras. Um, I know I've got the gourd on the game camera down in the yard, so uh, I'll show you some footage of him later on in the video. But uh, I'm looking to see if there's any uh, moose back hanging around. We had lots of moose hanging around last last year, so I got my game cameras out again. We'll see if we get any uh, any luck this time. So. Stay tuned, I'm gonna take a jaunt up up in the woods, check the game cameras, and uh, I'm gonna cook up a little something on, a, on the fire there. A cup of tea, of course, but uh, got something different again today. You, uh, I'm sure you're gonna like it. Stay tuned, folks. Change this one out now, guys. I might be wrong, but I thought I just saw moose tracks. Like they weren't they ain't that old, so we might have something on the video here. Anyway, let's get them changed out. What a gorgeous day, guys! What a gorgeous day! I'm gonna find a little spot now. I think go back to our normal cooking spot. Me and Jeanette used. And uh, yeah, animal will be down there. And uh, get a get a cup of tea on the go for sure. Oh, that is fresh air, folks. That is fresh, fresh moose poop. That might even be this morning. Yeah. Hopefully, I got him on game camera somewhere. See my cameras too. But yeah. He's not far beyond. He's pretty close, that guy. Anyway, hopefully he'll be there when license season opens.
not a young fellow anymore, folks. So uh, a few creature comforts, not so bad. I'll, uh, I'll take that when I'm out in the woods. So I'm going to put the kettle on here now and uh, cook up uh, something on the uh, iron frying pan. Cast iron frying pan. So uh, stay tuned for that. It's going to be good. So while the kettle is boiling there guys, uh, I'm going to have a cold beer. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Zero beer. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Yeah, so today, guys, I got some cod puddings I'm going to cook up. guy from work gave me uh, gave me some. And uh, I, was I was telling him about cod dogs I had a couple weeks ago. And he said his buddy had made homemade cod puddings. So he brought some in for me. And I'm going to cook them up here now in the cast iron frying pan in a few minutes. So it should be good. Nice little lunch on a beautiful day like this. Spent morning, uh, most of the morning, putting that cart together. Got her, got her done. You saw that in the first part of the video. And uh, just check my game camera for these. Just check my game cameras. I've changed the cards out of my game camera, sorry. And then uh, I noticed there's some fresh, fresh, some fresh tracks and some fresh moose uh, droppings up there. So that's uh, looks good for. Uh, I know. If I got any footage of moose on the game cameras, I'll throw it in at the end of this video. Uh, Gord is back at the cabin. <laughs> I call him Gord. Last year I was calling it Gertie, and it's really I think it's a male grouse because he's out flapping his wings, and that's what the male, male grouse do, not necessarily the females. So yeah, Gord is back at the cabin. He's been beating his wings off all morning, and sorry about that, folks, camera shut off on me. So yeah, Gord's back. He's uh, he's out beating his wings down there. He's been there all week. I got him on game camera, so uh, I'll put some footage in of him in there now. And it looks like, wow, that was pretty quick. Kettle's boiled, so uh, let's get cooking. Put the tea bags in there, folks, and uh, I gotta go get some spruce tips and uh, do what my buddy uh, Gary Fudge Tucker and I do all the time. They, they make spruce tea, spruce tip tea. So turn that racket off for a second. Yeah, Gary Fudge makes some spruce. I gotta get some spruce tips and put in there and uh, try the spruce tip tea. Stay tuned, folks. Let that steep there now, folks. So, folks, this is what I call cod pudding. You've heard of uh, bread puddings and blood puddings. Similar concept, I think. It's the cod fish and I don't know what the ingredients are, exact ingredients in this. It's homemade. That's how the guy, the guy makes them all the time, apparently. Uh, my buddy's guy. So, yeah, it's a cod pudding. And what he said to do with it is cut it up in slices and fry it in the frying pan. Well... Got the frying pan, got a bit of butter, and we're going to cook it up here now. Get it cut up here first before I uh, light that up. So yeah, he said, oh, I can smell onion in it too, it smells delicious. So cut up in slices, he told me. Like, like, uh medallions I guess but lack of a better word so let's cut these up it's gonna be a lot here today guys well cooking I'd say I'll save one take back I won't eat all that today take that back and have a little snack Probably later tonight watching the movie or something. So yeah, let's try this much. I can smell it now, the guys. Oh, this. oh yeah, spices, onion. Oh, that's going to be delicious. I can tell already. So anyway, let's get a bit of butter on the go here. To actually, just slate this up first. I don't need to rage for that. Uh, Iron frying pan, it's according to the way that kettle boiled. Kettle boiled very quickly. Imagine this is not going to take very long to heat up either. So, yeah, give me a better view there, folks. 
See what's going on here. Yeah, so cod puddings, folks. I've heard of them before, never tried one. So today's the day. Get them on there now. Oh, ah, just a little bit of ashes. That won't hurt you. And he said to fry them and give them a, get them nice and crispy. So that's what we're doing. And you know what? I didn't bring any gloves today. Too warm to bring gloves. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna take a chance with that frying pan. Oh boy, you can smell this, folks. Sorry about that folks, battery died on the camera. So, just in the process of giving these their first flip, and you should smell this. Oh my, and there's... Oh, these are gonna be good. Oh, got that one tore up a bit. But... Oh yeah. Dandy. Dandy, dandy, dandy. That. Of course, I got some uh, homemade bread to go along with it. But yeah, these are going to be tasty, folks. So folks, I think we're ready here now. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put them in here. Oh boy, these are gonna be tasty. Just crisped up nicer for now. Lay that down to one side to cool off. It's a homemade bread. Oh boy, this is going to be good. Hold on, folks. I get set up to uh, enjoy this. Gary, I don't remember how long I'm supposed to steep the tea, but just to show you, I do have spruce tips in there, buddy, along with a couple tea bags. I'm going to give that a try. Oh, and that's nice and strong today, too. Oh, yeah. Good to the last drop. There we go, guys. guys. All right. Let me get set up here, folks. I, if I mentioned it earlier, but. I got my uh, Newfoundland Outsider hat on today. Thanks again to Bob Lawrence. Appreciate that, buddy. Lovely hat. So yeah, folks, cod puddings. This is what we have. Well, let's see how this goes. And my mustard is way over there. Well, it's gonna stay there. Cheers, folks. Mm. Oh yeah. Definitely gotta get some more of these. Mmm. Like I said, folks, I've heard of them before, so there might be a few places you can get them. I don't know if you can buy them in lo local stores or not, but uh, definitely check it out if you see them. Try them. Mmm. Not much different than a fish cake, actually, but it's still good, really good. The crispiness, that's the thing, yeah. New mug, folks. Oh, yeah. That's good, Gary. You can definitely taste the spruce in it. Puts a different taste on your tea. It's very nice. I like it. 
Oh yeah, I like that, buddy. I'll be doing that again. Oh, hmm. So, folks, you don't need to sit here and uh, watch me eat. Appreciate y'all subscribing. Appreciate y'all tuning in. If you have, if it's your first time here on the channel, uh, great. Hope you stick around. First time viewing, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like, and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time uh, a new video pops up on my channel. Um, if I, if you're on Facebook, uh, I usually post these when I post these videos. I post the links up on Facebook. So if you want to share them on Facebook, appreciate that. Share them amongst your friends. And uh, we got a, uh, we got a, we got a few more videos coming up. I got to, with me and Jeanette. We were just talking this morning. We got some cabin renovations we got to do. <laughs> Didn't get at them today, and that probably not this weekend. Was it's, so I decided to come out here and do this instead today. <laughs> but chores had to be done around the cabin, so that that's uh, that's got some uh, that's, that's on the list, uh, and and so on. So stay tuned for that. There's gonna be lots of great videos coming up, and uh, talk to you in the next one. Take care, folks. Thank you.